friends, and welcome to another installment of Plaid Stallion's Toy Ventures. One of my favorite things to do on this show, a recurring theme, if you will, is to talk about all the cool Battle of the Planets toys and merchandise kids on this side of the ocean got screwed out of. And this week is no exception, as we look into roleplay items based on Battle of the Planets, or as it's known internationally, Gotcha Man. Around the time Battle of the Planets hit the airwaves here in North America, it was rolling out with its sequel series in Japan called Gotcha Man 2. And that's where a lot of this merchandise came from. Of course, they got action figures, model kits, die-cast toys, and we've talked about some of them before, and we'll talk about more of them later. But we mainly you know, got regulated to frame tray puzzles and gold key comic books. No matter where you grow up, role play is an essential to childhood. I mean, they still sell role play items at Toys R Us right now. Gotcha Man is obviously meant for role play with all the different characters' outfits and weapons, and they got the royal treatment in Japan. And I'm going to go through three pieces of my collection, but this is by no means a complete collection. First of all, the signature helmet. Like Batman's cowl, the Battle of the Planets crew are defined by their helmets with bird-like visors that tell you which character they are. The only one that was made that I know of was their leader, Eagle Ken, the distinct white helmet. This does not fit me, nor will it ever. Believe it or not, I actually bought this locally. Um, that's the reason I own it. I, I've kind of held back on Battle of the Planets items as of late, uh, but this one was in my neighborhood for sale and you just can't deny fate sometimes that helmet was part of an entire ensemble as evidenced by the card back for these feathers I have you may not recognize the feathers they are the signature weapon of Joe or as you may know him Jason the feathers were largely edited out of Battle of the Planets because uh, Jason liked to leave them in people and we have no no violence uh, it blew my mind in college to watch an unedited episode of gotcha man and it still kind of does to this day there were other weapons in the series including a sword and it looks like the boomerang from gotcha man 2 you'll also notice that there is a red clip for these feathers to attach on to the gotcha man belt if I'm not mistaken, the Gotcha Man belt is actually based off of a Common Rider toy. Common Rider, obviously, the belt is very important to the character. And in this case, I think they just took the same tooling and made a Gotcha Man belt. It did light up. It was spectacular. But an idiot left the batteries in it 20 years ago. That idiot would be named Brian. And I need to fix it. However, I will do this and do a second video when I get it all cleaned up again, hopefully. As a total side bonus, this is a piece I received in the mail recently, and that's kind of why it's here. This is a Battle of the Planet karate robe. I think it's a bathrobe that was sold in the United States. I've never seen it before, and seeing it in its package just made me jump at it. I'd love to know the catalog this is featured in. If anyone has seen it, please let me know. So there you have it. Three Gotcha Man role play items that we got absolutely screwed out of as kids. I know for a fact I would have loved the cape or the helmet personally. I had to put my jacket over my shoulders to emulate the cape. What would you have chosen in your Gotcha Man role play item? Let me know in the comments below. You can hit me up at Twitter at Plaid Stallions, or you can join the growing conversation at our Pod Stallions Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Until next time, I hope you'll consider hitting like, subscribe, and have fun, talk toys, not people. Take care.